Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at some upgrades and add-ons that you can add to your camper um, if you, whether you've just bought it or you've had it for many years like I have. The first thing we're going to talk about is your steps. The steps are going to be the most popular add-on for an RV or a camper um, that we've seen at eTrailer. Uh, the biggest reason is because these fold-out steps will come on almost every single camper on the market and the biggest complaint that we get is that when you're you step on these you can see all the motion um, that they have what that does is that causes your camper to rock back and forth even if you have stabilizers um, on your camper it'll still cause a rocking motion um, in the rear or right where your steps are at so uh, what we recommend for uh, many people and what people are switching to is a set of um, solid steps or the mo ride steps that will simply deploy you just open it up they come out and they sit on the ground so you can obviously see there's no flex in them because the weight of your body is now on the ground um, and there will be no shaking in the camper while using these steps always recommend for every camper um, whether it's RV or a camper travel trailer anything like that is going to be a surge protector um, the surge protector will plug into the um, the outlet on your shore power so you can see here we're plugged in a 30 amp power what this is going to do is it's going to protect um, exactly what it says is power surges going through your camper um, if you did not have it that power surge would be going through your standard wire and then into your camper and potentially damage your inverter inside your camper. If you have too much power or wrong power, if it's um, if the polarity is reversed, um, you can run a risk of um, tearing up your inverter inside your camper, and that can be a very expensive fix. Another great add-on is going to be a water filter. Um, you're obviously you're going to need a uh, regular water regulator um, typically it's between 50 and 55 psi going into a water filter um, I don't particularly like drinking the water out of my camper because um, stay in various places in various campgrounds you don't know the quality of the water but a water filter will allow you to drink water if you need to or cook with it too an add-on that a lot of people don't think about when they're towing a camper um, is to have a camera on the back and a lot of times that's because they have somebody with them that can be their spotter but it's never a bad idea to always have an extra set of eyes on the back so that you don't either back into um, a power post or a tree um, basically so you just know what's going on behind you um, whether you're pulling or parking your camper This upgrade is going to be mainly for older campers or campers that don't have slam latches installed on them. So anybody who has an older camper knows that these turnstile latches are really annoying because you have to make sure the door is in far enough to be able to turn it. And then if you don't turn it with it closed, it can flap when you're driving down the road. So these slam latches allow you to just open it with one finger, lift it up, and then another thing I recommend is picking up a set of these, um, these hatch magnets. And what they do is you get a positive and a negative magnet, and then they hold your door up while you're getting stuff out. Um, it just eliminates the need to use this latch on the side of the camper, which requires two hands to use it. So um, it just makes it a lot nicer, um, a lot easier, takes one more struggle out of your trip. The next thing is um, something that is coming out more recently um, is drawer slides for your um, for your camper. So these drawer slides are really nice to be able to access all the stuff that's in your front compartment or if you have a rear compartment you can use this also. Um, but they have single direction slides and they have dual direction. Mine just so happens to be a dual direction so it pulls out halfway on this side on the driver's side of the camper 
and it pulls out the same or the other halfway on the other side. So it just helps you to get to your stuff a lot easier. You don't have to crawl in and out and you, you certainly don't have to pull everything out of your camper to be able to get to something that's in the middle. An add-on that a lot of people will do to improve the stability of their camper and their enjoyment on their trip um, is going to be these front strut bars for um, fifth wheel, typically they're for fifth wheel campers because they're going to have these style of jacks. Uh, but what they are essentially is they provide stability from the tops and the bottoms of the feet tying this all together in one unit. What this will do is it'll take away that side to side swaying motion. So if you have a lot of heavy wind or if somebody, as we talked about earlier, um, with the stairs, you have that movement from side to side in the camper when somebody's walking up your stairs. Um, this will help to eliminate a lot of that. Um, we tested these earlier and before we had about three inches from side to side movement with the nose of the camper just pushing on it. Um, and this, we can't get the camper to move at all. Um, because of the, uh, the strength of the legs being locked together. Another big add-on that we recommend for um, campers, uh, for your slide specifically, is a slide topper. Uh, the slide topper is essentially going to be an awning for your slide so that when you open up your slide, um, it's going to cover the top. The reason why these are so important um, and the reason why you see a lot of people carrying ladders on the backs of their campers, um, additional ladders, is because they have to get up if you're in a wooded area or if there's a lot of debris falling or whatever, uh, they have to get up and they have to sweep the tops of their slides off before they put them in. Well this eliminates that because it's going to slide on or it's going to fall on top of the slide topper and then when you put your slide in it'll all roll up on this spool. If you don't have a slide topper and you don't remove the leaves off of the top, what they can do is if they get wet, which they're going to, um, you're going to end up pulling the slide in and all that stuff is going to be on the inside of your camper if your seal um, allows it to go underneath. So um, a lot of that can bring mold um, to the inside of your camper, which is not going to be a healthy living condition for you and your passengers. Another great addition to your camper is to add a sewer hose um, holder. So your camper, if it has a square bumper on the back, um, you can actually pull the end cap off if you have an end cap and slide your sewer hose in the end of it. Um, that's something a lot of people don't know. Um, but this is designed for either extra sewer hoses or so that you don't have to put your sewer hose inside the uh, storage compartment of your camper. It's one less container that's usually a pretty large container um, that you don't have to have in there. But all you do is just take this cap off and then you can see your sewer hose is stored nice and neat inside. Now this is a 20 foot sewer hose inside this so it just gives you an idea of how much you can fit, how much hose you can fit inside one of these things. When it comes to suspension, what a lot of people do is they'll swap out their equalizer from the standard equalizer. What happens with the, with the standard equalizer is once you hit a bump with your front tire, um, what'll happen is you'll hit the bump with your front tire and then it'll transfer the energy back to the back tire because the suspension is tied together. So that's where that chucking action will come from. This is something a lot of people will upgrade if they're having issues with that chucking um, on various trips. The last thing we're gonna talk about is upgrading your RV furniture. There's two different types of people when you camp. There's people who like to spend a lot of time inside their camper, so this may be higher on your priority list. But then there's the other side who like to spend most of their time, except when they're sleeping, outside the camper. So you just have to weigh out what's important to you. Um, for me, uh, this is the old style or the old design that came in my camper, so I wanted something a little bit nicer. Um, so I upgraded to a, um, a jackknife sofa, which folds out into a bed because I had several of my friends that were complaining that they couldn't sleep very well if they were sleeping on my old pullout. So just something to take in consideration if you have a lot of family that go camping with you, 
um, it might be something you want to take um, into account to upgrade for the comfort of everyone that's on your trip. If you have any questions about these products or what upgrades would be good for you and your setup, please feel free to reach out. See you later.